The Foreseen Arcade. Active. the royal minds again! Knights of the Square Table, defend our family jewels! We must defeat Sir George's men! Gasflame, establish a defense perimeter. Bernevere, report on troop strength. Blaze, you and I will attack in formation Delta Tango Orange. Or better yet, let's just rush in and torch those buggers. Oh, Camel Hawk! <laughs> The raid wasn't a complete loss, Sir George. We did lose a thousand knights, but at least we made off with this extraordinary diamond. It's half eaten! Curse those dragons! Merlin, I want some fiendish advice. How can I make Camel Hot mine? Hmm. My spies have just given me some new, deliciously diabolical information regarding the future of Camelot. <sighs> My new alarming clock is a splendid invention, but adding the snooze level was pure genius. Flicker, hurry up, you lazy bag of dragon droppings. King Olfar's been waiting to see you. I just want to test the snooze level one more time. I'll be down in nine minutes. Fine. I'll tell the king, our absolute sovereign, master of all he surveys, that you can't fit him into your busy schedule. Whoa, hold your jingle bells. Tell the king I'm on my way. Maybe it's about my request to battle in the tournament tomorrow. If I can't win, Princess Flame will be forced to marry someone else. The only drawback to my alarming clock is that I have to wake up and wind it every 10 minutes. I do some of my best work here, so I sleep as much as possible. I have a cracking good view of Camel Hot from my window. Flame calls it my junk pile, but one dragon's junk is another dragon's treasure. It's my pet moth, Pavlov. So far I've conditioned him to stay in his jar even after the lid is removed. 
This is the most precious thing I own. My invention book. It contains the designs for all my best inventions. A good inventor always has his invention book. It's a photo of Princess Flame. She's the apple of my eye, the cream in my coffee, the frosting on my cupcake. Strange. Whenever I think of flame, I get very hungry. This chart denotes endangered species, which are protected by law. There's only two of them left, and they're not even speaking. If they don't kiss and make up, the species is almost certainly doomed to extinction. Poor little guys. They're exquisite birds with such excellent taste. Unfortunately, they taste excellent to the hedgehogs. There used to be plenty of them until the minor birds started fighting back. They sent in a mediator, but they ate him. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament. My answer is no. Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight. You're not even a squire. Knights of the square table, your attention, please. Silence, please. Silence for the king. Pray silence. The king is speaking. Shh. I'm oh, sorry. We must do something, Flicker. I refuse to marry one of these flaming idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh-oh. Visitors. Humans, Humans in Camelot? Camelot? Greetings, King Smallfire. <laughs> oh, I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I'm certain the Camelot law book will not allow such a thing. Chancellor? Hmm. You're undoubtedly right, sire. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be eligible to participate in any tournament. Take a bite out of that, haircut boy. Unless, of course, they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout picking? Yes, well, at one time it did, but uh, I changed it, accidentally. Uh, this is a sensitive matter of state, King Allfire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, Dennis. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow, Camel Hut will be mine. Away, Mervyn! Humans! Puff! We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived! Calm down! Our opponent can be defeated! 
Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, sire! Father, Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that have piled up in the royal kitchen. There you have it. <laughs> oh, wacko. Tell you who, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash. That's an English word, you know. Ooh, that's blind, idiot! Oh, great. I see Sir Gasvane's been using room service again. I wouldn't want to touch them, but they certainly are spouting out a great deal of steam. It would be silly just to spin it. I could most likely use this in case I make a mess, or perhaps for something else. King Allfire's teacups are on a handy spinning rack. The royal tea kettles are always left on the stove in case the king wants a cup of tea to soothe his nerves. Steam from a heated kettle provides the power source. The scrubber spins with enough force to clean just about anything, including grimy tail scales. The jet of steam catches in the cups and spins the receptor rack. This is one of my favourite inventions. Everyone needs help scrubbing those hard to reach scales. That's a waste of time. Those are in the foreground. This mop can be used for more than... It's my clicker. The first thing I ever invented. I won second place at the science fair that year. First place went to the wheel. Without candles in it, the tube-like hollow design could be used for other things. It's a perfect fit. So snug that no steam's escaping. Flicker, I've got great news. You're gonna help me with the dishes? No. If you're a knight, Daddy will have to let you complete an atonement. To be common, you first need to have an existing knight take you on as a squire. And then? As a squire, you can journey into the cave of dilemma. Leave alive, and you're a knight. Well, that sure simplified things. This mop can be used for more than just cleaning floors. This mop can be used... It fits like it was made to go there. Now, if only I could get this thing to spin. Sure, Cook Turnspit wouldn't like what I'm doing to his kitchen, but then again, I don't like what he does to my dinner. I wouldn't waste my. This invention is beginning. They must be from the Tong Dynasty. This doesn't seem to be working. This doesn't seem to... My hat... Clicker. 
clicking isn't going to help get these dishes clean. I beg your pardon? You want to pick a garden? Look under horticulture in aisle four! No, I said you're awfully hard of hearing. Oh, you like my earrings? My son sent them to Mayor. He won them in a contest. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? Now that's a good way to start a fire. All you have to do is doze off and watch. I need help finding a book. Do you have a title? Inventor. And I hope to be a knight by tomorrow. Well, that's fine and dandy, sweetie. But how about the title of the book? Um... Uh, you wouldn't happen to have, uh, great earthworms named Stanley throughout history? Keep your claws off my duster! Here it is. It's one of our most popular titles! It exists? I mean, I changed my mind, but thanks. This door goes to Princess Flame's bedroom. I have nothing to say to that. This is the bed where Princess Flame's sweet head is laid each and every night. Those sheets are flames, and they're family heirlooms. Hmm. This mirror is clearly warped. Makes me look like I have a jewel gut. Flame has an outstanding view of... My bedroom? I'll have to put up some blinds. It's a bottle of Hair Club for Dragons, guaranteed to grow hair on even the most stubborn heads. It's Princess Flame's couch. If Princess Flame was... This room has a lovely sneezing pit. We had to rebuild the castle three times before I invented these. This door leads to the Royal Hallway. The king already picked up the queen. I don't have sinus problems, but this pipe cleaner might come in handy. I really don't want to stick the pipe cleaner into that. The king and queen were happily married for nearly a thousand years, and unhappily married for more than four thousand years. Monarch Quarterly. In this issue, they reprint King Allfire's infamous 12-hour coronation speech. 
I'll just take the Monarch Quarterly along in case I get a sudden bout of insomnia. I am honoured that King Allfire has one of my inventions in his bedroom. It's a shame it only tells the correct time twice a day. From this balcony, King Allfire can admire the majestic landscapes of Camelhot, which, by the way, are on loan from the Majestic Landscaping Company. It's King Allfire's fountain. Bend a pipe cleaner into a fun shape. I really don't want to stick the pipe cleaner into that. I really... I really don't want to stick... That's a waste of time. Those... That's a waste... It contains King Allfire's coronation speech. Half the subjects who heard it are still sleepy. Hello, Chancellor. Nice flat. So light and airy. You know I don't allow guests up here, Flicker. Please leave. Well, OK. Hey, thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> King Althai thought of this information booth after he got lost in a neighbouring castle. I beg your pardon? Yes? What can I do for you? What are you knitting? Oh, my little boy's grown another two feet since last week. I just can't keep up. Now, what can I do for you? I need your help. I have to locate the Knights of the Square Table. I've got a semi-enchanted map. It will show you where you want to go. Even if you don't know you want to go there! King Althai thought... I beg your pardon? Yeah? Can I have some useless information? The most visited spot in all of Camelhart is the King's bathroom! Ever since he went on that liquid ruby diet, the king's been in there five times an hour! I have all the information I need. I wouldn't waste... I really can't do that. Flicker! You are not to leave the castle until those dishes are cleared as a whistle! Yes, King Allfire. Excuse me, King Allfire. Flicker, I know you have the good sense not to bother me with idle chit chat until you've finished the dishes. Right, you are, Your Royal Ship. Sorry for the intrusion.
That's a waste of time. Flicker! You... You can bend a pipe cleaner into a fun shape, or stick it into hard-to-reach places. I really don't want to stick the... I'm sure Cook turns... I'm sure Cook turns but wouldn't... I have no use for it while I'm awake. I don't need this junk. Uh, I mean treasure right now. Hello, little friend. Anxious to show all the nice people what a well-trained moth you are? Pavlov, where are you going? You're setting a terrible example at the beginning of the game. Bad, Moth, bad. My hero. Necessity may be the mother of invention, but Albert is definitely the father of invention. They're such a nice couple. I wonder why they never had kids. These are all the textbooks from my famous inventor's home study course. Sneezing pits are now obsolete, thanks to my latest invention, the asbestos hanky. This door leads to the... I feel bad enough having taken one. Any more and I couldn't live with myself. And if I couldn't live with myself, I'd have to find a roommate because there's no way I could afford to pay rent all by myself. This is the jar my pet moth Pavlov once called home. That would dishonor the memory of Pavlov. I could only put something precious in here. Only the king can rule from up there. King Allfire's bed. It has a queen-size mattress which cost a princely sum. I like it, but I can't think of a single use for it. 
It's the royal railing. It's the revered square table. The revered coffee table is in the other room. Wise King Allfire. Camelhot owes him a debt it can never repay. The dearly departed Queen Griddle. She departed a few years ago with Sir Loinfire. I'd better not. He seems deep in thought. Or asleep. Sometimes it's hard to tell. King Ulthire thought... I beg your pardon. What's the easiest way to become a squire? Kiss some knight's butt flicker. It hurts, but it's worth it. Oh, heavens me, did I just say that? I need one of those... Um, things. You know. You mean one of those diddly bops you put on your... Well, you know. Exactly but without the doohickey on the end. Either you want a new bowstring for your crossbow, or I should slap your face. Either way, I can't help you. Can I have some useless info? Seventy percent of those slimy humans' bodies is made of water. Now, if only the other thirty percent were made of soap. Can I have some useless information? Seventy percent of those slime. I have all the information. Combine the two steam sources into one powerful source. It's combined the two. It's a bottle of hair club. For These are ancient. A rubber hose carries the steam to the receptor rack. A rubber hose. There are no more inventions back here. Just a sonnet I'm working on for Flame's birthday. This door leads back into the square table room. Nothing I really need. King Ulthire thought of this in- I beg you- What are you knitting? Oh, my- I need- You mean- Exact. I think- I have all the inf- This isn't the time. This will take me to... It would be useless. King Ulthire thought of this in. 
I have nothing. Just more trash to haul. No thanks. These are... This doesn't seem to... King Arthur, I beg your pardon. I'll carry on, but I won't carry that. King Arthur, I thought. King Arthur, I thought of this information. I beg your pardon. Ow. I have all the information. It would have no effect on him. It's his speech. This stairway leads. It can. This isn't the time. This will take me to the... It would be like talking to... That's Librarian Pure Flame. To say she's a bit deaf is like saying a tree is a bit wooden. This isn't the time. That's Librarian... What can I do for you? Any new books coming? I suggest Fire in the Belly, Taming Your Inner Dragon. It's a must for today's modern dragon.
A book for sensitive dragons? Yes, I'd like to read it. Well, you can't. So I lounged a lot, chopped it up and burned it. I've got another copy ordered. Can you suggest a book to read today? Read in the hay? I need help for... Do you... How about self-defense with belly button lint? You don't have it, right? These are... This doesn't seem to be... This doesn't seem to be working. But how? What can I do? Do you... You, you wouldn't have an illustrated guide to stomach flu, volume 8. Keep your claws off my duster! Oh dear, here's volume 5 and 7, but it looks like... Oh, oh, wait, here it is! But that's impossible! I'll forget it. I just remembered I already own the whole set. Three chairs for the users of the library. Hip hip hurrah! I said three chairs, not three cheers, librarian pure flame. Well, do keep it down. This is a library after all! I have nothing to say to that. My favourite nightshirt. That's only for sleeping and it's no... This leads out into the... My rubberized tail warmer. Functional yet stylish. It keeps my tail toasty at night. I love it when an invention comes together. Dishpan claws are now a thing of the past. Lo and behold, the automatic dishwasher. Now how much would you pay for this miracle time saver? Don't answer, because I'm free to leave the castle. This step. Good day, Chancellor. This is my latest invention, the automatic dishwasher. I see it's run off steam. Is it powerful? As powerful as a dozen knights. Fascinating. Perhaps later I can help you find some further uses for it. really is enchanted. I can see where all four knights have gone. How did Sir Burnaby wind up here? This is the home for the grimly insane, where they treat clinically depressed storybook characters. Magic beans! This place is jumping with them. Magic beans. This one looks good. She seems like a very confused young lady. Excuse me, but your hair... It's too long, I know. Otherwise you never would have said such a thing. Please calm yourself, miss. Yablanowitz, Rapunzel Yablanowitz. And how can I be calm with all this long hair? All what long hair? 
You don't know what it was like. Everywhere I turned, it was Rapunzel, throw down your hair! Rapunzel, throw some more hair down! Hey, I didn't get any hair over here! Before long, I was throwing down hair all over the place. It was making me crazy! That's exactly what I was thinking. Crazy. Luckily, Dr. Fraud is a man who knows how to make a commitment. In fact, he's committed everybody here. He's really helped me see the light. Getting the hair out of your eyes probably helped. Should you be outside? Unattended? Yes, of course. I do the gardening around here. I trim the bushes, I trim the grass, I trim everything. And you should have seen that beanstalk before I got to it. Why are you so stressed about your hair? My hair? If I don't keep it short, it'll grow down to the floor and then out the door. But we're outside. Wouldn't it grow in the door? Well, if you're going to split hairs. Now, don't bother me. I've got to be ready with my clippers if it tries to grow. Forget I said anything. Most people do. I order you to surrender, vile human! I order you to the Royal Optometrist! <laughs> Don't make me come up there, human! You idiot! King Allfire's Tomato Garden. It contains the most fertile soil in the kingdom. That's Sir Gas Flame, the visually impaired. He's a powerful warrior, but his eyes are as weak as his intellect. I haven't seen the king this angry since that nasty business with the pee under the princess's mattress. Trivet can be so literal at times. Come down here, wretched! It's rude and crude to yell in public. If I want to speak to the king, I'll walk to the bedroom. You come. Um, pardon me, Sir Gasflame? Huh? My word! A giant talking dandelion! <laughs> oh, Flicker, it's you! Why do you refuse to wear glasses? Sir Bernevere wears them into battle. Do you think any less of him? Of course I do! But he can use those large words to defend himself. That's King Allfire up there. Your sense of humour is warped. It's clear this is Castle Grimm and that fuzzy blot up there is Sir George. Talk to you later. I see you're busy attacking the wrong castle. <laughs> Don't make me come up there, human! I order you to surrender, Violet! Perfect. It sank right into the ground. Now, if I know my fairy tales, this shouldn't take very long. Unhand my nose, you stone blind stalker! King Allfire! What happened to Sir George? Am I in trouble? Found you, gas flame. This is the last straw. Oh my word! Look at my poor tomato plants. Looks as though you've got brown roots, sire. Blast it all! I've worked so hard on them. There, there. If you like, I can give you my mum's recipe for fertilizer that will solve all your problems. That's rather stand up of you, gas flame. All is forgiven with that earlier business. So anyway, how's your mum? Buried her last week. Dead, you know. Oh, just a minute, sire. Flicker lad, thanks for the help. It was my pleasure, Sir Knight. Just as it would be my pleasure to serve under you as your squire. Oh, dash it all. You know me and squires. I'm a special case. As a token of my appreciation, though, here is a lot of Peruvian coal. Gee, thanks. Coal. Off to the square table room, Sir Gasflame. Follow me. Your Highness is most resourceful.
This is the crater that King Allfire and Sagas Flame created. The Royal Garden is not going to like this one little bit. Not after the fall that Sagas Flame and the King took. Sir Loungelot is lost in the woods. I'll have to wait until he finds his way out. Magical home of the Lady of the Lake. Look, something magical's happening. Oh, what are the chances? Oh, all this rubbish everywhere. What's a lady to do? I got you now, fish lady. Speedy, quick. Let me go. <laughs> Oh no! That fisherman just caught the Lady of the Lake! Help me, please! It would be like talking... From way over here, it looks like a bunch of junk. Oh, just look at the time. King Orphire sent me on a mission and I've been here for hours. You're such a bad boy. Hey, big guy. I can't control my burning feelings of candy love. That's a blaze. The seriously vain. Mesmerized by the thing he loves the most. Is that new chainmail? It's groovy. This tranquil pool must be enchanted. Sir Blaze's reflection has a mind of its own. The love. A small pile of pebbles. They're cheap, they're easy, and they come in a variety of handy sizes. Go on. You think? Oh, ball the runaway love tra Well, that didn't work very well. Perhaps I should try again. She's a pers- I really have to go. So long, you handsome hunk of desire. Me, handsome? You, sir? It's far too precious to waste. I better. Say, honey pie, you are looking good. You noticed? Who of us can turn away from mellow sweet perfection? This isn't the t This isn't the Excuse me, Sir Blaze? Not now, Mummy. Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> you heard him, baby. Go chill with the out crowd. It would be like talking to a wall. Is that new chainmail? It's groovy! Do you really like it? The love... Lance, the royal mould, is ruining the streets of Camel Hot. Flat and wooden. Excuse me, chef. What do you want, the flicker? I'm a busy, being obsessed. What's the problem? What is it? Ah, it's been such a long time since I had a good laugh, you know, like when you laugh so gosh darn hard, you think your heart is gonna explode? Maybe it would help if I told you an amusing anecdote. What's the matter, you? I'm not sick. 
I don't need no antidote. Well, you need something to put a smile on your face. Excuse me. What do you want them? Can Trivet cheer you up? Ha! Ah, you crazy? Ah, that a stupid dragon wouldn't know a joke even if I served it to him like a larger pizza with an extra opal. Well, I know he's not that funny, but... Funny? Ha! He's not even a close. He makes me even more depressed than I am. I'd rather not lug it around. The royal subjects love this statue, but the royal pigeons love it more. The royal gardens of Camelot. Planted with corn, in honour of the king's feet. And let those big black birds peck my hand. Quoth Flicker, nevermore. What a split. With all the soot around here, the royal sign washer has his hands full. Plus he has to work on stilts. Hello up there! How's it going? You say you're from the Union? No, oh, I can't hear you way up here! Oh, I'm coming down! I'm sorry, but I'm not from the Union. Forget it, kid. It's time for a break anyway. The sign washer's union says we get a break every 13 minutes. You need a lot of breaks when you work on stilts, you know. Excuse me, but are you st You bet your toolbox I am. I'm using up some break time from when I was homesick with a flaming flu last month. Another fine sign. This one is carved from flintstone, I believe. Through that archway is... That's Trivet. He's the royal jester and a royal pain. What are you doing out here? I'm working on a joke for the king's retirement party. What do you think of this one? Two cows walk into a butcher's shop and ask for two. Oh, boy, now that doesn't work. Heh <laughs> heh, I still got it. Trivet, want to try a joke on me again? Okay, how about this? Three blind ducks are in the desert and one sees a cactus. How's the joke coming? Try this one on for size. So, the dwarf ballerina turns to the eunuch and says... Say trivet. Trivet. Trivet, trivet, trivet. Now, I said it four times for you. Happy? Now, go away! This isn't the time. This isn't the time for that. Are you ever going to go back to work? I already am. This year is what you call project management. I'm deep in thought at the moment. Are you ever... I already... Are you ever... I already am. This is my performance review. Since I'm my own supervisor, I'm expecting a big raise. Excuse me? You bet your tool... Are you ever... I already am. Are you ever going? I already am. Planning is the most important part of every project. That's the... Hands off, son. If I can't climb up and clean this sign, I could lose my job, and I'm only two years away from retiring to a fat pension. This could be helpful in getting... It would be like talking... Ha <laughs> ha!
that would dishonor the memory. Hey, what's the matter, you? This apparel and I are very attached to find another. Your mother is, um... A, a dragon! No oh, good, sir. I don't have time for this. Ah, you have a classic case of scale envy. Now, take off that silly costume. This isn't a costume. I'm a dragon! And you, sir, are a fraud. Yes! I am Dr. Zygmunt Ford, specialist in the disturbed, the confused, and the loony nut boys. What a mess! Sir Burnaby is trapped. It looks like Dr. Fraud is losing his patience. Sir Burnaby must have wandered in here and now he's trapped. He's a bit of a nervous wreck. It looks like he could snap any minute now. Per my contact, I... A naked man eating flies. After what I've seen today, that doesn't seem so strange. Excuse me? Yes, what can I do for you? I notice you're eating flies. Indeed I am, dear boy. They're low in fat, high in fiber, and the way they buzz on the way down gives them a little added vein. I didn't know humans enjoyed flies. Neither did I. Oh, fancy that. Humans like the same things we frogs do. Oh, so you're a frog? More or less. Aren't you cold? Nudity leads to that. I usually wrap myself in a lily pad when I catch a chill, but that's a little impractical now. If you don't mind me saying so, you look pretty human. For a frog, that is. Hard to miss, isn't it? I blame the princess who kissed me last summer. Eccentric girl. Good family, though. Is there anything I can do to help? If you should come across a princess in an affectionate mood, do send her my way. Puckered up, if possible. And not too much lipstick. There's a good chap. Sorry to bother you. I see you're eating. I say, that's a nice pipe. Uh, can't stop to talk. Have to play. Uh, uh. So the play's the thing. But why? The rats. My playing is the only thing keeping the rats away. If I stop, they'll be all over me. It's horrible. But I haven't seen a rat for miles. Don't be fooled. They're all around us. They hide in the shadows with the glowing red eyes. Waiting. Mm, that's a catchy little ditty. What's it called? Oh, it's called Keep the Rancid Rats at Bay. If one gets near, I fear my flesh he'll flay. <laughs> it's an original composition. Is that a flute or a recorder? <laughs> it's neither. It's a pipe. I'm the Pied Piper. Get it? I'll talk to you late. <gasps> Beware the rat. Excuse me, Dr. Fraud? Another one. The madness is spreading. Wait till I finish with the other nutcase. Dr. Fraud? Oh, so you really must, must you? Uh, you exhibit signs of deep-seated anxiety towards pivotal father figures involved in sycophantic relationships. Excuse me? You're a pest. It's important that I talk to you. You have bottled up anxieties. Now, take the cork out of that bottle and stick it in your mouth. Psst, Sir Bernivere. Do you mind? I am in the middle of a session with my patient. <laughs> Try this. Ah, I come back, I must have must keep wooden pipe in perfect condition. I don't know what I'd do without my pipe. Ah, we're doomed! A total rat attack! Any second now, I'm going to be covered from head to toe with rats. Rats up my shirt, down my pants, in my shoes! Stop that over there! What are you, Cuckoo? Cut it out! 
Strangers on the street will say, what a nice fur coat, what a nice fur coat, and I'll say, I'm not wearing a fur coat! I am covered with rats! Dirty, stinking, lousy rats! Knock it off, you! The only rats around here are inside your head! In my head? Oh my god! Get them out, get them out, get them out now! Settle down! Relax! Relax! Untie me, Flicker, hurry! Flicker! Oh, good job, lad. I wish there was a way to show my gratitude. And I wish that a grateful knight would make me a squire. If only there was some way both our wishes could come true. I believe indentured servitude to be a degrading anachronism. But so you'll not defame my hallowed name, please take this gift as a token of my gratitude. Sir Knight, I don't know what to say, except, what is this? It was awarded to me when I deduced that the world was the shape of a duck. Seven. Impressive. It looks like Dr. Fraud is losing his patience. Do not bother us! This is an emergency! Do not bother us! This is an emergency! Do not bother us! Looks like he wiped out the home for the happily insane next door. Is that new chain mail? It's groovy! Do you really like it? The love train has rumbled! Well, well! What have we got here then? Go on, you think? All aboard the rub- Peruvian coal. It's good and good for you. One bite and even I can breathe fire for a short while. Hair is one of the toughest materials there is. A single strand will hold many times its own weight. Is that new chain mail? It's groovy. Nah. Do your rip. 